hello so buddies welcome back to the channel in today's tutorial i'm going to be showing you how to draft this 10 pieces blouse with a gorget this is going to be the part one for making this dress if you're just joining us here for the very first time you're highly welcome my name is joy and i am the tutor for this channel away by angli in this tutorial we are going to be on that having the part one of this um blouse which is going to be the cutting and then Subsequently, we'll do the stitching and then the sleeve. Let's get right into it. Items needed to make this top are your fabric here. I'm using a mix and a match Ankara fabric for special effect. Your lining, fleece interfacing, also called wadding to pad the bust area. Paper interfacing for the lining, non-moving interfacing for the fashion fabric. My hemming gum for the hem net for the back yoke tailor's chalk tape measure scissors and to beautify this cloth and give it an extra oomph i'm using broken beads to beautify the blouse as a foundation for drafting any style you start with your basic bodies block i made a tutorial on the channel on how to draft your basic bodies block using the natalie brace method i'll be linking that in the description box below i see a whole lot of people complaining that they would have preferred to see the drafting from scratch it's actually an unwise thing to overlook the importance of the basic bodies block as it saves you so much time always drafting from the very beginning for every piece of garment you intend to make the basic bodies block is like a base, a starter, or you can even call it a formula for whatever style you want to achieve. All you have to do is to trace out your block and start altering the new or the trace pattern to your desired style. With that out of the way, let's proceed. Now, these are my own personal measurements that I can now use as guide to get a near perfect fit or a perfect fit. And they are measurements you would need in addition to the basic bodies block already traced out. This is my basic bodies block. I've already gone ahead to trace that out. Next thing I'm going to be doing is to start altering my pattern. To start, I'm going ahead to mark out my under bust line. My under bust here is 14.25 and you want to start from the tip that's the tip of the neck where the neck and the shoulder meets so yeah i've gone ahead to mark out my under bust line horizontally like so and i've gone ahead to label that out so that you can see it now after i've done that the next thing i want to do is to link these two points with a straight row now to um, mark out your under bust circumference you want to divide it by four yeah my under bust circumference is 31 divided by four is giving me a 7.75 and i'm going ahead to mark that skipping the dot after marking that out i've now checked the remnants which is 1.75 so i'm going to share that 1.75 sharing one giving one to the left and then 0 0.75 to the right what i'm doing basically here is to give it a contoured fit remember this basic bodies block has a loose fit so for this boss we are going to give it a contoured fit so with broken lines i've, I've joined that point to the boss point and then linked it with a straight line to the waist now you want to measure the next thing i'm doing here is to measure the broken line and then divide it into three parts so yeah, I'm going to have to measure this broken line and I'm going to be dividing it into three parts and then marking one part below. What I'm trying to achieve here is to get a curve for my bust, um, that's for, for the bust, to just get the curve. So yeah, I've divided it into three parts and I've gone ahead to mark it out like so. Now at the bust points, I've gone up 0 0.5 and I've come down 0 0.5. All these things are done so that we don't have a pointy boss. Now with my French curve, I'm going to be linking all these points together, the 0 0.5 below, down to the one third of that line and then completing the line like so and then doing the same thing for the center piece. So I'm linking that one third to the 0 0.5 and then completing the broken line like so, linking it to the underboss line. And then this is what it looks like. As you can see, the boss point is not too pointy. All these things are just done in a bit to get at least a near perfect bust or a near per perfect bust here. So yeah, the next thing I'm doing is to cut out my pattern piece before I now start altering it proper. I'm cutting it out because I want to transfer this shoulder dart to a mid armhole dart. This 
blouse is going to be having a mid armhole that and not a shoulder that so what i want to do basically is to manipulate my dart i did a video on how to manipulate your darts i'll also be linking that in the description box so that if you don't know how to manipulate your dart and move it around you can go ahead and watch that video so yeah trying to manipulate my dart i'm going to be using the slash and spread method of that manipulation so yeah i'm cutting out the area which i won't which i won't be needing at the waist that i'm cutting that out so that i'll be able to move my piece freely now after cutting that out i've gone ahead with my hip curve to find the position of the new dart that i'm going to be creating that's the mid arm hole that i'm going ahead to mark that out and then slashing it open like you're seeing me do then after that i'm going to slash out just one line of the shoulder that and then close it up you see automatically it now creates a new dart at the mid armhole just like so that manipulation is very simple if only you can pay keen attention like it's very easy to do all you just need to do is to create the new position of it that and then transfer it now yeah i've gone ahead to do that transfer so st i also stick down the paper so that it doesn't um unravel or it doesn't tear so yeah this is now my new dart at the mid armhole next thing i'm going to do is to create out my yoke yeah i'm using nine inch from the base for the yoke now because i'm using an ankara fabric for the yoke i'm using the green ankara fabric for the yoke i went as low as nine inch but if i were to use a net i won't go that low because it's going to be very visible so yeah this is my green yoke part this is the i'm going ahead to mark out my notch point so that when i'm joining this piece together it will be very easy and understandable to you know join so now let's cut out the green yoke i'm going ahead to cut it out out of the pattern piece after cutting out my green yoke i want to you know alter the neckline so now my green yoke is going to be on fold but the main center piece is not going to be on fold because i really want it to give me a full peplum like a full um peplum below so i'm going to be making that not to be on fold so remember this is a 10 pieces blouse the front is going to be six pieces while the back is going to be four pieces so here i went ahead to divide this side piece into two again marking it one two and three so remember this is going to be in two pieces so if this is three piece that means the opposite side is going to be three making it six piece in front and then for the back the back is going to have four piece making everything a 10 pieces blouse so yeah now altering the neckline i've gone out one inch and then for the base of the neck i'm going to be coming down one inch and then linking it up with my curve so yeah i've gone out one inch and come down one inch and then linking it up if i had left it like that it's going to be too choky so i'm just trying to bring down the the base of the neck and then with my scissors i'm going to cut this out now working on the back piece i'm gonna have to mark my center back and also come out from the neck to create the neck width i've come out one inch and for the neck depth i'm going to be coming down 0 0.5 and then linking it i later on in the tutorial i came down 0 0.5 because i didn't want it to be too high so now what i'm trying to create now is the yoke the back yoke remember we are going to be using an orange net for the back yoke yo guys this this um blouse is so beautiful i love everything about it the design the fit and just the way everything came in together to create a masterpiece i so love it so now to create the depth of the yoke i'm coming down nine inch from the base of the neck so yeah you, as you can see i came that later came down 0 0.5 inches for the neck depth then for the base for the depth of the yoke i'm coming down from that point nine inch and then linking it to the armhole to the mid armhole just at the same position at the same position with the um front the front that that's mid armhole in front so that it matches up so yeah i'm trying to create that special um back yoke which is going to have 
three loops or three buttons so here all i'm just doing is to mark out the position so that i can go ahead and create that back yoke So this is what the back yoke is going to be looking like here i'm linking the waist that's up to that yoke point this is now my number four and my number five this is the orange net so i'm going to go ahead and cut out my pattern piece Now to work on the peplum parts of this blouse, remember this is a six pieces blouse or I'm um, sorry not six pieces, ten pieces blouse. So the way I do my my own pieces blouse is that I cut the peplum and then join it to the upper part. So to get the radius of the peplum, you want to do your waist circumference divided by 6.28 to get the radius of the peplum. So my waist is 29. To get the radius, I'm going to be doing 29 divided by 6.28 and it gave me 4.6. So I'm going to approximate that up to 4.75. So the length of this peplum is 7.5. So meaning that the circumference, the... um radius is 4.75 and the length of the peplum is 7.5 so yeah i'm going ahead to mark my radius of 4.75 round and then also mark my peplum length of 7.5 at this point i'll just add it up 7.5 plus 4 um, 4.75 is going to give me 12.25 and then from that pivot point like so i'm going to go ahead and um mark the 12.25 so here yeah, i'm marking out 12.25 because of that addition so that at the end of the day the length of the peplum is going to be 7.5 So after i've done this going in with my my curve my hip curve i'm going to be linking these points like so and also linking the points down below to cut out my peplum So this is what my peplum looks like this is half of the circle half of the circle remember we are working on half of this cloth now that's why i also cut half of this circle now the next thing i'm doing here is to mark out the value for the base like so i'm marking out the value of each so that i'll be able to mark it out on the peplum as well and then merge them together so that's what i'm doing marking out the value of each of these um, panels or each of these pieces and then i'm going to go ahead and do the same thing on that radius base of the peplum then after that i'm going to cut it out and then join them to make one piece each for all of them so yeah i'm going ahead to you know mark it and then share it accordingly amongst the panel so this is for the number one panel the first panel i'm going to go ahead and cut that out and then place it like so i'm going to go ahead and do the same thing for the second panel the third panel the fourth and the fifth panel this is one of the best ways to get a lovely peplum except you're doing a 700 and a 720 degrees peplum then you can actually make this 
flame more that you can double it but ensure that the the radius part that's the part where it meets is the same as the upper part so if you want it to flame more, of course you can make this flame bigger by cut making it multiplying it by two and just joining it like so but yeah i want to achieve a 360 degrees six pieces blouse the thing that is going to make it flame more is that this gadget i'm about to add like so so yeah i'm cutting out my gadget i didn't use any particular measurement i just brought a paper and folded it at the edge you know you can actually make it fuller you can make it wider you can make it smaller at this part at this point just use your discretion there is no hard and fast truth to it there's no um standard measurement for it so you can just do that i'm using seven inches for the length of this gadget which is 7.5 sorry i'm using 7.5 inches for the length of this gadget which is the same thing as the length of the fillet so that it starts from the waist and then flows together with the fillet so yeah this is my gadget i'm going to be cutting this into six parts i'm not going to be putting the gadget at the front part of this blouse i'm going to be putting a gadget from the side seam all through to the back so that's why i'm cutting it into six so yeah these are my pattern pieces laid out on my fabric already i'm gonna have to add the necessary seam allowances here i've cut it out you also want to do the same for your lining and then iron out your interfacing this is what the front piece looks like as you can see it's into six part this is the back piece which is into four parts please if you are enjoying this tutorial if you really enjoyed this tutorial if you enjoyed watching this video please do not forget to hit the subscribe button like the video you can share it to your friends so that we all learn together here on the channel we always have a good time thank you so much for coming on with me on this ride this is a part one the part two is going to be coming out which is the stitching of the piece and then the part three of this um, top is going to be the sleeve fixing of the sleeve so you don't want to miss that kindly hit the subscribe button like share comment your thoughts and observation and i'll do well to answer you thank you so much for coming with me on this ride and i'll see you in the next one have a blessed day bye